Hello there Aries, welcome to your uh, reading. So when I was shuffling out this spread, I saw a pretty interesting image. Um, first of all, I, I saw this woman and um, she looks like she's, you know, very young, like 18, 19, probably uh, like in her teenage years. Um, and she's doing some type of a rain dance. It seems like some type of a ritual, some type of a rain dance, the beginning of a, um, a planting season. So she's not only asking for rain, but she's also asking for like a bountiful harvest. Um, she looks she's wearing some really colorful clothing with like beads and and shells or rocks on her um on her around her wrist and around her her neck it doesn't look to me like it's native american i feel like it's um it's some type of an asian culture and um i feel like I feel like it's not only asking for rain, not only asking for some type of a, you know, bountiful harvest, but also asking the rain to come down and kind of do some type of a spiritual cleansing. So at first she's dancing and she's in charge of the whole ceremony. And then I see other women, uh, they, some of them are um, her age, some of them are older, some of them are, you know, like in their 30s, 40s, 50. They all come in and they all partake in this ritual and they're doing like the same dance, the same gestures, the same movement. And then the rain starts pouring. And so there are a lot of things to unpack here in this image. Um, first of all, I feel like for many of you, um, there's this sense of, you know, wanting a community of people that you belong to. OK, a community of people where the you and the other people all have a common um, it's, it's a it's like a common thread running through everybody. Everyone is there to serve a specific function. Everybody is there for the same agenda, the same objectives, and everyone is working towards the same things. OK, so if you have been feeling almost like you are outgrowing the people in your environment, I feel like it's a good time for you, especially in the beginning of this year, to start branching out and to find a community of people that are more in alignment with you, okay? Finding people, especially, you know, uh, I, I do have a lot of female viewers in general um, on my channel. I think it's like 80% of the viewers are self-proclaimed female. And so because the image that I saw, it's all women of differing ages, um, in the same community, but there were no men present. I, I definitely feel it's a concept here about allowing yourself to create more friendships with women um, rather than having it be, um, I, I wanna say antagonistic or even competitive. We want to harmonize the relationships that we have with other women, okay? So that's the first thing. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is um, I feel like there is a major purging process in your life. The rains, the ritual when it comes to bringing about rain, um, it's all about self-purification and self-cleansing. Some of you might be going through, you know, some um, major things in your life where you're trying to uh, get yourself to a specific weight. You want to get yourself to look a certain way. You want to, you know, let go of bad habits that you've been accumulating. And I also feel like many of you, there might be a lot of drinking, a lot of smoking, a lot of uh, putting, you know, uh, substances that might not be good for you in your body. And so you might need to go through and do some type of a detox or some type of a cleanse um, so that you can, it's, it's like, having that that uh, love and nurturing for your body for your physical body so that you can be healthy you can have more energy and you can you know it's it's almost like setting uh, changing the habits changing the routines so that in one area of your life so that it trickles out or trickles down and it will affect other areas of your life positively okay um, so that's what I'm feeling here. So uh, let me just uh, go into the reading and then, you know, we'll segue back and forth between the image and the cards, okay? Um, let me look at your overall energy. What I'm feeling is, what I'm feeling here is um, there is a need for us to focus our energy a little bit more 
on the people that are meaningful and the relationships that are important, okay? And kind of uh, let go or at least not give your time and your energy to relationships that may, might be fun or people that might be very fun and exciting, but overall very, very, very flighty, very unreliable, or the people that are not really going to be there for you when you need them to be. Okay, so I feel like this spread is all about the concentration of energy being very, very focused and not give our energies away. So what we have here, this is the Knight of Cups and water sign, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like there might have been a situation where this person might have created a lot of strife in your life, okay? So we have a water sign that has uh, created a lot of strife in your life. We have somebody here, I feel, that might be in a relationship as well, and they're pursuing you. And in a way, I feel like for many of you, you're, you're a little bit conflicted, okay? On the one hand, yes, you are very flattered and you possibly could um, really like this person. But the fact that you know they're in a relationship, you are aware of, you know, the whole sense about karma, the whole sense about um, they're in a relationship. So no matter what they're willing to give me, it's not fair for the other person that they're in a relationship with. So you're cognizant of the fact that you're not going to entertain this person, mainly because it's a situation that is not balanced, that is not fair, and somebody's going to get hurt. So you're kind of choosing to push them away because you're not entertaining a situation that is not uh, moral, okay? So which is really good energies for you. Um, I also feel as well, this person, you could be in a relationship and this person is pursuing you, knowing full well that you're in the relationship. And I have to say this, um, you know, when people like us, when people admire us, it can make us feel very flattered, okay? But we need to learn to draw boundaries and not lead that person on because it's not the right thing to do. We also need to kind of uh, respect the sanctity of our relationship with our significant others um, so that we don't let outsider um, kind of encroach upon what we hold to be very sacred and to ve be very precious. So entertaining even just flirtation with another person when you are already in a relationship is a big no-no. And this is something you want to, you know, really, to really practice in your everyday interaction with other people. Okay, on the one hand, I feel like it's very flattering, but on the other hand, um, it's it's not right to entertain a situation when you have no intention of going through with it. And then I also feel like protect your relationship, okay? That means giving it the utmost care and respect and dignity that it deserves and not let other people come into the picture to interfere with that relationship. And so I feel like there's some guilt here coming into the picture. The Nine of Swords, this is traditionally, you know, restless nights, uh, not being able to sleep, feeling a little bit of guilt. So I, I do see there's some guilt here associated with this uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I also feel like if you have been um, feeling, you know, under the weather, um, feeling aches and pains through your body, there's going to be some type of a revival and some type of a healing, okay? So once again, the rains will come and cleanse away all of these things so that you can be your bouncy best, so that you can bounce back, so that you can recover, so that you can overcome this. For those who are single, I feel many of you are coming into the picture very single for this month. Um, I see a situation where there might be third parties involved and you're just like, you know what? I love myself so much that I would rather be single rather than being in a situation where I'm not getting 100% of the attention or 100% of my needs met. And so I see many of you taking the steps to actively, you know, cut out Ace of Swords, severance, okay, cutting off things that are not working, cutting off dead weight, trimming down um, a situation or your dealings or a relationship with a person because 
you're recognizing that no matter what, they're not going to give you the love and the attention that you deserve. And you would rather be alone and, or find somebody else if that's the case. I also feel this situation, you have a very strong air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, Queen of Swords here. This is somebody who's very willful, who's very independent, headstrong, and um, they stick by their beliefs, okay? And I feel like there might be some contention in your dealing with this person. Uh, they don't listen, and I feel like the two of you, communication has been very uh, difficult as well as very contentious between you and this person. Um, you feel almost like they could be a little bit condescending or patronizing when they talk to you or when they talk to other people. They feel, you feel like they, set, um, they, they kind of put themselves on this pedestal they're they're kind of um they they kind of think like they're you know and and this is just the way that you're looking at the situation it's like their status is highly elevated and i almost feel like you're in awe and admiration of this person but at the same time you wish they would come back or down or you wish they would come down from their high horse and not um and not be so holier than thou you know so that that's what i'm feeling um, you feel like the connection or the communication between you and this person has been very tenuous. Um, you don't really see eye to eye and there's a lot of conflict here. I also feel like underneath it, though, is a lot of love and support. So if this is a relationship partner, um, regardless of the ideological differences, there's still harmony and there's still, you know, that underlying under the current. There's still a lot of love and they care about you. You care about them, too. And so you can't, despite how you feel about them, you don't really uh, hate this person. You, It's like love or hate. There is definitely conflict and tension. But there's a mutual sense of respect because the both of you are just as stubborn. Okay. And you don't really shift your values, your likes and dislikes, your wants and your needs in the presence of each other. So I feel like you have somebody here that is just as strong, just as um, moralistic, and I feel like just as stubborn as you are. So that can create conflict, but it can also create um, a sense of admiration, mutual admiration that you have for one another. But I'm not going to lie. I feel like the communication has been very difficult. For some of you, this could be like um, a person, like a female energy, possibly a mother, a sister, a best friend, or somebody that is just like, they're, they're seeing what you're doing and they, you know, you, you look at them and they have this disapproval in their eyes or in their demeanor or in, or on their face. Okay. And, um, I see that some of you might have, um, um, hidden some things from this person. It's like you, you don't want to deal with the disapproval. You don't want them to sit there and, you know, lecture you. So then you choose to withhold information from them, or you choose not to tell them the whole truth, or you choose to be very selective with what you're telling them because you don't want that criticism. You don't want that lecture. You don't want them to have that disapproval on their face. So you're keeping information from them and you're being very selective about how you communicate with them. Especially if this is a contentious relationship, you you're trying to minimize just for your emotional well-being. You're trying to compartmentalize and trying to minimize the amount of time and energy that you're dealing, that you're giving to this person or the amount of time that you're spending with this person. Um, you have to do whatever you need to do in order to preserve your peace of mind. So whatever you're doing, if you're drawing clear boundaries, is definitely the right thing to do. But I feel like this person is giving you very solid advice and they're giving you good advice. And um, I feel like it, it would be, you know, smart to take it, okay? Um, what I'm also feeling as well is um, I see there is um, a lot of just attention, positive attention that is coming your way. And the attention is not just, you know, people wanting to uh, date you, wanting to court you, wanting to, you know, um, have their way with you. It's not that. The energy is a lot more... 
the energy is a lot more spiritual. So it's almost like being able to find a community of people. And I feel like it's going to be coming in for this, um, this month, a community of people or people who are like-minded or people who are just as ambitious and as self-motivated and as independent as you are. Okay, so I feel like there are opportunities for uh, gatherings, um, social gathering, professionally focused social gathering, where you meet people and they really inspire you. Um, they, they really inspire you because you guys are in the same industry, you guys are in the same type of field, you have a lot of, um, you, you know, um, it's like professional networking experiences, but it's, um, it's happening in a very social environment where you meet other people and you're able to talk about the same things and the other person understands some of the challenges. You feel like you don't have to over explain yourself and you feel like everyone is on the same page with very, very minimal, um, explanation. So it just feels like it, you're in the right place. You're with the right community of people and everyone is just as ambitious. So they, they're independent. They don't, you know, they're not afraid to like, um, they're not afraid to show up to a party or a gathering by themselves. Everyone is just there for the right reasons. And I feel for those who are single and looking, there might be a change around in your relationship status because I do see somebody really gunning it for you, heading towards you. I feel a very strong um, Aquarius um, energy with the star card. We have here the Knight of Swords and the star. In this deck, the Knight of Swords is actually the King of Swords. Okay, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But in particular, an Aquarius person, they love social gatherings and especially they love to, you know, um, they, they love group associations. They're the, the, the epitome of that. And they love an opportunity to, you know, share their knowledge. And so uh, whenever there are these gatherings, they're bound to be there. So there's somebody here that is really igniting and lighting up your your world and i also feel like they're coming at you very fast very hard um like i said it's not a i just want to sleep with you type of a vibe this is somebody that they see something in you that has to be beyond physical attraction they see something in you that inspires more. It's like an intellectual, you know, connection. It's a spiritual connection. It's a soul-like connection because the two of you have the same values or the two of you uh, care about things that are bigger or beyond yourselves. And as a result of that, they're very drawn to that. So I feel like the conversation is going to be very professional, very platonic. And then it develops into something else. So for those of you who are single and have been looking, um, there's this energy coming through. I honestly feel like many of you are wishing, doing that rain dance. It's like a, a spiritual ritual because you feel like you've been cursed in relationships. That's what it feels like to me. Um, so you wanted this this rain to come to spiritually cleanse out all the the gunk and the, 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 the things in your life and the relationships. It's like this deluge uh, washing over you to wash away the bad luck, okay? That's what I'm feeling. That's what it feels like to me. It's like a ritual to get rid of bad luck. It's a ritual to purify and, and cleanse a situation, especially in your romantic sector, that has really weighed you down. And, and you might feel like, why am I meeting you know a bunch of married people? Why am I not meeting single people? Or... Why am I meeting people um, or having relationships where the other person is so um, is so passive, like they don't have anything going for themselves, they don't really take initiative to do anything, I have to do all the work, and so you're aiming for somebody who is on your same page. Um, so that you know they so that you you can feel like you can sit back and then let them make the plans let them do the 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 things that are required of a relationship partner rather than you having to push things along and to do everything like you're tired of it and so this ritual is more about cleansing out and 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 kind of breaking the cycle when it comes to you know a specific type of people that you keep attracting or that keep coming in and then the relationship kind of flounders or, or it flops because they don't take initiative. They don't, um, 
they take forever to do things or they don't take initiative. And then you feel like they're not taking initiative. Therefore, they might, must not love me or they must not care about the relationship or, you know, I'm not important or I'm on the back burner in this person's life. So I feel like you want a little bit more. You want to be put first and you want people that will fight for you or that will really cherish uh, the relationship. And through their actions through their actions, they're able to show you that they care and that they're taking initiative to move the relationship along. So there's a breaking of cycles here, which is really good. There's a cleansing purification. There's also that uh, whole concept about, you know, feeling like you're cursed, doing something to break that cycle, or at least recognizing what type of people I've attracted in the past and uh, why that wasn't emotionally fulfilling for me. And once you become cognizant of it, you shift your energy forward. So I see this major shift coming into the picture for you and it's allowing you to find people who are different or find people who are more in alignment with your energy okay so the sense of awareness has to happen first before we can energetically change or shift the energy we need to be aware so that we can be cognizant of our actions and then we can shift our energies What's coming through in terms of your spiritual advice? We have here the Prince of Wands and the Two of Wands. This is a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of ambition, a lot of energy to be able to get things done. Okay, Moving ahead as well in a direction that is greatly in alignment with our wants and our goals and our desires. So there is a very strong Leo energy here. But what I'm feeling with this card in general is just, you know, stay on your, your true course. If you feel like you had to break up a relationship very recently because um, of third parties or because communication has been problematic or because the other person is just doesn't move, um, I feel like in the process of moving ahead, it's going to give you more clarity, more peace of mind. And then it's going to, your absence is going to allow the other person to step up. Okay. We also have as well, two of wands. Um, for those who have been single, I feel like you're taking your, um, if you have been kind of, um, if you have not been dating, this is a card about coming out of that and being lured or being um, solicited to come out of your ivory tower. Because in the traditional right awake deck, it's the man, he's in the tower and he's looking down and he has that globe in his hand. But in this depiction, it's more like reviving your, your energy, feeling passionate again, feeling like somebody is coming into the picture and sort of drawing you out of your environment so that you can experience something with them. So I feel very, very strong uh, air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I feel like this is somebody that's going to be very, very uh, crucial in cutting through the riffraff, okay? Cutting through the riffraff, cutting through some type of uh, mental fog and being the voice of reason. And I'm sorry, I mentioned this, the Ace of Swords. This is actually a Three of Swords, okay? So there's like a separation of somebody from your past. And I feel like there was a significant amount of time invested in this relationship. And I feel like it's really hard to recover the sunk costs. And I, I also feel like, you know, the relationship was, um, it was very slow moving. But at the same time, it was developing in a way where there is an opportunity for it to kind of um, resurface and rebloom. Okay, so very strong air energy here. So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Um, Aries, 